Hey friends, so welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be doing my spring TBR. So, I like doing um, seasonal TBRs on my channel, and I just started really getting into monthly TBRs again. But I wanted to see if I could stick with the, sp the seasonal TBRs as well and just have like a list of books that I could possibly pick from to read for the spring. So I have my jar of prompts here and I'm going to go ahead and pick out a few. So I'm going to go ahead and just dive in and pick one. So the... First prompt we have is a Marie Lu book. I put some authors' names in here that I have accumulated their books and I need to start reading them. So I pulled a Marie Lu book for my January TBR and I managed to get through that. So I'm excited to pick up another book by her. So now I just gotta decide do I wanna do a sequel or just go ahead with one of the first books on our list. So next one, let me try to pick a red one. It's supposed to be 22 books in 2022 pick. I posted a video or I should have posted a video where I talked about 22 books that I would like to read in 2022. So I will be picking a book off that list. Next, uh, in. Just go with, oops. It's a, a book that a friend has loved. I'm gonna have to do some digging on that one. But I, I'm sure I have a pick ready in my head. I just gotta think on that. Next, I'm gonna pick from the top. I'll pick this one. It is a book over 300 pages. So, that's fun. Alright, so we have four. I think I'll do two more just to have an even six. Alright, so let's see if I can pick another one. Read of Friends to Lovers. So I'm gonna have to think on that too. I'm sure I have a Friends to Lovers book in here. I just gotta figure it out. Gotta figure it out. All right. Lastly, let's, see. let's try and pick a big one. Like, read a Jill Chavez book. That works for me. Let me go grab my options and then I'll talk through my picks with you. BRB. So I'm back with my picks. We'll go through this one by one. First we pulled a Marie Lu book. So I have two options. I could start a new one up from her, The Young Elites, because uh, this, when I pulled this uh, prompt the first time, it was between this and Steel Striker. Those are the two that caught my interest the most. So I could see if I like this. Or, I could go ahead and finish the Skyhunter duology and move on to Steel Striker. So, those are kind of my options right now that I'm thinking through. I think I'm leaning towards more the sequel to go ahead and finish it out because it's only a duology. So, give me your thoughts and feelings. I think I might just end up going with the sequel because it's... It's a thing I can finish. Next, we have a book over 300 pages. So I pulled two for that one as well. So again, going with the thought process of reading a sequel plus the last book in a duology, I thought When the Night Breaks by Janelle Angelis could work um, because it's the sequel and the last book to Where Dreams Descend. So, if I'm in the mood to finish something, <laughs> I could totally read this. I know it's for sure over 300 pages because I opened it and it was at like 4 something where I opened. So, definitely over 300. So, this is an option. And then my second option is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. This is definitely over 300 pages. I want to give her new series a try and see if I could like it more than I re liked Red Queen because that series was good and then it just like it just it just digressed and just came, became not good anymore for me so I'm wondering if maybe uh, 
this could be like a new favorite or just maybe I could like this one more. So that's an option. Give me your opinions because I don't really have, for those two I don't really have an inkling of which one to really choose over the other. Again, if I want to finish a sequel, then I guess When the Night Breaks would be a good one, but I'm not really set on any one of those, so next we have a book that a friend has loved. So I pulled three for this one. Two of them are romances and one of them is a fantasy. So I pulled um, The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I pulled this because I'm pretty sure Monet really liked this book. So that's an option. Don't really know what this one is really about. I think it's something about uh, two friends have to go on a honeymoon because their friends got sick at their wedding or something like that. But I've heard this was really good, and I'm kind of in my romance bag right now, so I feel like this would be a fun read, especially in the spring. But then also, Monet really liked The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, so this is another one that I kind of want to get to as well. The other thing is, though, I don't know if I'm going to get to this sooner than when this video releases or not, so it's kind of like a tentative add-on, but... Um, these are options. And then the last one I thought would be a cool option would be Red Rising by Pierce Brown. So this one is one of Aaron's favorites, and I think Mina liked it too. So this could also be an option, and I could throw in an adult fantasy into this list. I don't really have a preference of one over the other. So again, give me your opinions. Let me know what you think. And... You'll probably see what I choose when I do my wrap up, but, but I'm not leaning towards one or the other. If I want to make my life simple, I'd probably choose one of the romances, but I don't know if I'm going to be in a mood to challenge myself in the spring or not. So if I do that, then I'll probably choose this one. I know it's not definitive, but it's where my head is at right now. Next I have... Uh, 22 books in 2022 pick. So that one I just picked one book because I looked at the list and I was like, what would I probably be craving? And out of all of them right now, this one looks the most interesting. And it was The Color of Dragons by R.A. Salvatore and Erica Lewis. Um, again, I don't really know what this is about. I'm pretty sure I still have not read this in some synopsis and I bought this last year. But the cover just drew me to it. The fact that I had a dragon's tail, I was like, you know what, I'm here for it. It's pretty. So I think I kind of want to just go in and see what this is about because it's it's a mystery. <laughs> I'm just going to not read the synopsis and go in not knowing and hope for the best. So the next one is a Jill Shalvis book, another author pick. So for her... I actually brought out all the books I own, and I'm just going to like go through them. So um, this is the newest one I've bought, uh, The Family You Make. Um, this is about a guy and a girl who get like stranded in a snowstorm on a ski lift. And so when the guy makes his last call to home, he uh, lies and tells his family that he's with his girlfriend and that this girl that he's trapped with is his girlfriend because he thinks they're going to die. So then they don't die. They make it off the ski lift. And now he has to take her home and show her off as his girlfriend. So she kind of goes along with it. I think she's like an orphan or just doesn't have a family. And it just sounds like it's going to be kind of funny. So this one is definitely an option. Um, let's see, this one is Almost Just Friends. Um, this is about a lady who I think she's trying to sell her grandparents' lake house because her siblings have kind of left. Um, and as she's trying to, to sell, her siblings actually all just come back for whatever reason to move back in. And she's like, well, dang, now I can't sell it. And she runs into, like, a guy. I guess she has to learn how to, like do things for herself now because she doesn't have to raise her siblings anymore and they're like all older and adults so 
we'll see um this one is the summer deal so it's about two frenemies who like there have been lifelong frenemies in this small town and one of the frenemies runs into the best friend of the other one and they kind of fall for each other and so i think it's like a a summer of like friendship like trying to get back the friendship between the frenemies but also this romance the forever girl this one's about a group of friends who get back together for a wedding and they kind of go back over everything that's happened in their friendship and why it's reached the point that it has and i think it's kind of a lot of flashbacks and just kind of rekindling and maybe even forgiving some of the things that has happened so this one actually sounds pretty cute and the last one is rainy day friends so it's about a lady whose husband dies and she learns that her husband actually has had multiple wives like he's been cheating on her and then marrying all these other women which crazy um, so she impulsively decides to start working at this family wine company um, to like get a fresh start and to like kind of get away all, from all the chaos um, and she kind of falls for the family and the one of the men that works in the family um, so I'm kind of here for it I think I want to go with rainy day friends mostly because I like the thought of like the found family and so I like the fact that she like joins this family business and then falls for one of the men in the family so it feels like it's gonna have a lot of things that I love so I think I'm gonna go with this one so the last prompt is read a friends to lovers so I have kind of two here and the first one is the kiss quotient by Helen Hong I think this could be friends to lovers tell me if I'm wrong though from what I read of the synopsis like a friendship kind of forms because he does decide to like help her figure out her romance stuff or like how how to do all the romantic things or whatever so i think this could potentially be a friends to lovers but let me know if i'm wrong because i could totally just be wrong but if that's the case then the other one i have is a jill chavez book it's the forever girl and this one is the one where they all like a bunch of friends get back together um and so two of those friends i think eventually form a relationship so it goes from friends to lovers literally so i think if that's the case about the kiss quotient i'll probably just do this one so that is my spring tbr sorry if it was chaotic but we did it we got through it we're here now <laughs> um, if you like the video, please like it down below. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, all that jazz. Um, if you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. Um, leave me a flower emoji, any flower you want for spring because it's almost here. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.